Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Call O'Clock with a lovely big package from Bricklink.com and a letter from Tammy. Well, we all know which one's more important, and that is the subscriber letter, of course. So I'm going to cut into this. It's incredibly well sealed. Uh, let me get my knife and we can open the envelope. Oh, oh, oh. Very exciting. Ooh. We have got... This has come all the way from Pittsburgh, Kentucky. And we've got a congratulations card. Congratulations to you. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's a lot of writing here. Uh, Dear Robin Hood Bricks, hello, my name is Tammy and I've been a Lego addict since 2021 and it seems my addiction has grown worse since I found your channel in 2023. Sorry about that, Tammy. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for opening unique building techniques uh, by using older sets and how to integrate them with newer sets. Genius! After seeing the Doc Ock set for the Evil Lair, I was addicted and had to use it for the Avatar Imp? Suit construction? Amp suit construction? I'm not that familiar with Avatar. Let's not mention the Chinese restaurant made out of the Destiny's Bounty, the Crab Boat and the Sardine Warehouse amongst others. But seriously, I'm so happy I found your channel and for opening my eyes to see beyond the regular builds. There are so many wonderful sets from the past that I probably wouldn't have looked at twice if it wasn't for you. So thank you again. Keep up the creativity and I can't wait for your future builds. Congratulations and happy belated birthday to your channel. Hope this gets to you before you purchase it. Ooh, okay. There's some little uh, thing to unwrap in a minute. Uh, please excuse spelling uh, something and incorrect English as I am rushing to my second job. I think that says, see what you have done? Working to pay for Lego. <laughs> shame, shame. Just joking. Uh, sincerely, a fellow addict, Tammy. Okay, wow. Well, thank you very much for that card. Very nice to hear positive messages from all around the world. I'm always amazed at how far my channel actually reaches geographically. I've had all sorts of strange locations and more common ones represented. And I've got a very well-wrapped and small oh, little package here, but it sounds very intriguing because... Um, oh, I, I've just guessed what it is before opening it, just on the sides. Is it a book it ooh it it is a book <laughs> i just guessed it tammy just before you uh you uh before i finished opening it in fact it is ah the front cover of the book of fear which there are none available in the uk for sale either on ebay or in uh, bricklink.com uh and there's about two in Europe and they're either ridiculously priced or ridiculous postage. So, wow, Tammy, that is absolutely amazing. This is really uh, the most significant contribution towards my uh, uh, collection of these uh, ne uh, Nexo Knights books. I think there's six. I think I've got four in total. I've got the green one on order and this was the hardest one, the blue one. So I will need the page from the inside as well, but that I think is a bit easier to get. So this is a really fantastic contribution and I haven't bought it yet. You'll be glad to hear. Wow, cool. That is brilliant. Very insignificant to some, but you know, for us addicts, you know what it's like. Uh, you've got about eight collections going and there's just one bit that you just never even see, let alone, uh, you know, don't buy. So that is a really nice contribution. So I'm going to give that to Robin to hold so it's nice and safe and doesn't get mixed up with all the stuff that's likely coming in here. Um, but thank you so much again, Tammy. Thanks very much for the good wishes. I like this sort of stuff. I will put uh, your card with your lovely message on the family fridge uh, so everyone can enjoy it as well. Thank you. Right, okay, so on to the main uh, beast, which is this great big box here. It's a bit oversized. I don't think it's got that much in it, but um, it has got quite a lot. And the reason for this order, uh, or at least the sort of one word that I put on to remind me what was in it, was the word base plates. And that's probably part of the reason for the large box. But it's not the huge normal sort of 32 by 32 uh, 
base plates uh, that, that uh, you know, I build my city out of. It's much smaller ones I'm going to need for a cunning little scheme that I've got uh, up my sleeve uh, for fixing the area all around the jazz club where all the modulars are kind of facing the wrong way and it's not ideal, but because of the uh, dimensions of my room, that being a bit harder to change, I'm going to have to do something really quite clever uh, with smaller size base plates sort of uh, fitting in different ways. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to that and empty all of these, but I've, I've done this sort of order trying to open these bags on camera and it doesn't really work. So I'm going to pause the video, open all of these uh, without looking at them too closely, and then we can go through them all together. Okay, all opened, uh, and it wasn't as bad as last time when I had about 40 bags. I still haven't uh, been able to use even <laughs> a third of those uh, since uh, I got them, so it's good that there's only actually five bigger ones uh, inside that box. Uh, and the first two had these two rather large pieces in, uh, and I bought these largely as an experiment. Since I was paying for the larger postage for such a big box already, I kind of thought, well, let's try some parts I've never had before. Uh, and you may not recognize this because it's only ever been in one set. It's very large and very strangely shaped. Uh, essentially, it's a hovercraft base. Uh, so you can kind of picture it now, can't you? Uh, and that was only used on the set 7944 Fire Hovercraft from 2007. Uh, and I'm not even sure a fire hovercraft would work because it wouldn't have its own water supply. But then I suppose it would use the seawater. But then if it's pumping up that, would it work? Wouldn't it sink? And don't they only work in good weather? Anyway, <laughs> I'm thinking about it too much, clearly. Uh, but if I wanted to do a future hovercraft in my city, then I could now, I suppose. And you put uh, basically modified plates with a Technic pin pointing straight down into all of these many points here. Uh, and then you can kind of start building up from there. I don't think I'll do a fire one, whatever I did. I think I'd either do maybe a passenger one. That'd be quite good fun, wouldn't it? or maybe uh, some sort of uh, dastardly evil Ultra Agents one or something like that. Uh, maybe for the city, not the cabinet. Anyway, it was only, uh, I think it was less than a pound, so I thought I had to buy that, didn't I? A bit too big though, if anything. Uh, the other really big part I've bought is this one, uh, which is actually from the set that the Cars Cargo sticker came from that we used the other week, uh, which is the Ramp Crash 8198 set from 2010. A tiny turbo set that one uh, and it's just full of useful stickers uh, and this bit that was kind of the play mat sort of thing is no exception I just really like the idea of this stop bar which I could have either near my harbour or maybe uh, around my cargo area for the trains or something not for the trains themselves but for the traffic coming in and obviously I can peel that off and move it and apply it to one of my base plates using my patented hot tea technique <laughs> And um, we've even got skid marks here, haha, <laughs> and loads of dashed and kind of worn out road lines that I might have to use in my cunning little scheme uh, for new roadways as well. This huge one of a sort of parking bay that's kind of using uh, depth perception, uh, I don't think I'll be able to use. But maybe actually I could trim off uh, these bits that have got all the graffiti on. I'm not sure if I can read either of those at the moment, but... um. Yeah, they might be actually useful, this bit up here and this bit here especially. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. That was about a pound as well. And actually, once I've peeled off all the stickers, actually folding it into its sort of uh, carry case sort of shape is actually quite useful as a, a box <laughs> for carrying bits and pieces uh, and keeping them together. So yeah, I'm happy with that as well, actually. Uh, last time I got one of these, the stickers were in such a bad shape. It was kind of a, a misspent purchase, to be honest, but uh, these ones seem a lot better even if it has had quite a bit of wear and is a bit dirty. Uh, right, next bag uh, came, uh, got tipped out over here. So we've got lots of minifigures in nice bags and a few more bigger pieces. So these are the base plates that I was after and I was after them in great numbers. And that is why I picked this seller. Now there should be 15, I think, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm hoping there's some more in other bags over there, but they're just the eight by 16 base plates because I don't really like uh, cutting base plates. Uh, that I'm going to use for my kind of little scheme and um, well more on that in weeks to come but I'm not going to tell you all about that but the idea is to get all of my modulars uh, around uh, the closet door all turned around so they're facing us uh, and then we're going to have a new area where they are now if you see what I mean so it'll all be flipped around we'll be able to see the jazz club sign and so on and it'll be miles better cool uh, right here is an old grey 
large plate. That's for a secret project as well, so I'm not telling you about that. <laughs> uh, then we've got two of these, which are burps, or lerps actually, to be precise, large ugly rock pieces. Uh, and these are very uncommon, with the white and this sky blue colour on the bottom. Uh, and there were some aqua ones in a different set, but these are the sky blue ones. They came in only one set, 7666, uh, the Hoth Rebel Base from 2007. Uh, which we've had much better and bigger sort of Hoth Rebel bases since then, but uh, I guess that was uh, just a bit smaller because they were all a bit smaller <laughs> and cheaper before, weren't they? Uh, Hoth, of course, where Superman uh, goes for a rest from Lois now and then. Yeah, when he needs to. So, yeah, I'll be using those in my Arctic scene eventually. They don't come up very often. Uh, and in, in amongst sort of other white bricks, I think they'll look really good, just as a bit of contrast, probably on the waterline or something like that. So there we go there. Right, and then I'm going to need my knife, am I? Oh, well, there we've got one half of a Venus flytrap plant. Hopefully there's another half, so I'll come back to that. We've got one more shield for my castle scene, which is one of these Dragon Knights shields. And that came as part of 70403 Dragon Mountain, amongst other sets from 2014, uh, which is the one with the Dragon Wizard that I've already got. So yeah, he'll have knights with him helping him out, presumably, in my scene, and doing some jousting as well, perhaps. And talking of Dragon Knights, but from a very different era, we've got this guy. Don't know if that's their internal code. It doesn't look like a Lego code to me. And he's just fabulous, partially because of his awesome torso with this dragon. <laughs> kind of doing a bit of a boogie, it looks like, doesn't it? It almost looks like he's flossing. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not going to get that out of my head now. But anyway, yeah, he looks like he's having a bit of a boogie on the torso there. But also, he's having a bit of a dance on the helmet as well, because we've got these wings on the sides of the helmet, uh, which I used in red for my hermit crab in the city. Uh, but most importantly, this crest sort of emblem to the helmet, which is just awesome in yellow. So this guy came uh, in a few sets, but only two with the uh, this exact combination of setup. Uh, 6043, Dragon Defender being one of them from 1993, which I think is some sort of catapult, I think, that sort of stylized look like a dragon as well. Uh, but this is definitely the best bit. I think he'll agree. He is great. He definitely needs to be on a horse with a great big lance with that sort of a a helmet on I think yeah brilliant so yeah we're going to mix all these sort of castle genres together I'm going to put this sideways just so we can see it let's turn his head so he's looking over there and then it'll work quite well won't it there we go uh, so another thing I want as part of my castle scene is lots of kind of uh, people watching all the ladies as happened in those days I'll probably have uh, a lady knight as well, sort of Jeanne, uh, Jeanne d'Arc or whatever it would be, uh, playing with the boys, so to speak. But a lot of the ladies will be royalty and so on in the royal box. And here are a few of them. So we have this one, which is called the Castle Lion Princess, who only came in one set, 70403. That's the Dragon Mountain one we just looked at. She was obviously the lady in distress that needed the help of the goody knights so she's very nice crown nice hair lovely uh dress there so that's very good start we've got this one who must be her mum i suppose because this one is called the queen with dark brown hair she was in two sets including uh, 10223 the kingdom's joust from 2012 uh, which is exactly the sort of scene that i'm looking to create uh, outside my castle with the jousting going on, all the sort of tents and stalls and stuff like that, making it look like there's a lot going on. So, yeah, she looks very angry, actually, doesn't she? Has she got an alternate face? Oh, she does. She can be slightly happier as well, but I quite, I quite like the stern face. She looks really annoyed. <laughs> Maybe the knight that she was betting on uh, has just been knocked off his horse. Who knows? So there's that one. And then we've got this one. Uh, which looks like another younger lady with a nice pink bow on the front. She's also called Princess, uh, but came in one set, 10668 Princess Play Castle from 2014. 
uh, which is exactly the sort of scene that I'm not going for uh, with my castle setup. Uh, there'll be no lilac and pink bricks uh, what, in what I'm doing <laughs> at all. But uh, I do like her dress. I like this different shade of blue. See, they already look really good together. Uh, and I like the sort of, what would you call that? Pendant hanging down on a chain. Uh, that looks really nice with a nice uh, bits of jewellery all over. So yeah, really good start there as well. Three ladies for the royal box. Then we can have a man for the royal box. Now this man, nearly sliced my finger open now, I have to be more careful. Uh, this man is actually from kind of a mixed minifigure set that I hadn't really... Uh, heard of before 45023 fantasy minifigure set from 2016 uh, where he is the magic carpet rider you can see him there on the front uh, but I wanted him just for this lion knight's torso which looks sort of all done up in regalia and stuff with this sort of ermine lining and all these buckles and so on so he looks really uh, great I might give him mini legs so he's a young man uh, and he can be in the royal box sort of cheering on all the knights as well hurrah yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, so I'm on the real lookout for all sorts of torsos and all sorts of body parts that will make that scene extra good. <laughs> he looks like he's checking out the ladies now. <laughs> oh, and here's one more knight. But this one is Nexo Knight, so I'm not just limiting myself to the fantasy and castle lines across the ages. I'm also going into Nexo Knights, only when they look properly knighty. I'm trying not to get the ones with all bright, you know, day glow uh, <laughs> neon green or something. Uh, but this is uh, a little chap with little legs who looks rather good. He's the character Robin, but not me, Robin Underwood. Uh, kind of the opposite in stature to the massive, massive Axel character we got the other week. Uh, and this came in the set 70326, the Black Knight Mech from 2016, uh, which is an amazing set. Wow, look at that. There's almost too much to digest in that set, isn't there? <laughs> I love the sort of Whisperella speeder thingy with a cow's head on the front. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, but I also like this character because he's got a very different sort of set of armor on from all of our proper conventional knights in that when you lift off the head, oh, I may as well do it. You know, it's actually got a hole in the front, which is showing you the uh, emblem on his chest, uh, which although it is sort of two spanners, which isn't very... Uh, sort of historically friendly, uh, I don't really mind it because it could be crossed anything really, couldn't it? It could be blacksmith tongs or something like that. So maybe he is one of the comedy people who's entering, a really small guy, uh, and yeah, hopefully he is not drawn against Axel. So there we go, there's another castle one. I can put a plume in his hair later. Then we've got loads of Nexo stuff. Not Nexo stuff, what am I talking about? We just did Nexo. I'm talking about TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Another foot soldier for my foot army. Army builder. And da, 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 another one. And these are amazing. I mean, I didn't go for the minifigures, but he had so many good stuff. Um, and these ones were just over a pound, actually. It was really quite good value. And some of them, he said, do have nicks on the arms or the legs or the torso or something. But he did describe it very well. And I think some of these were supposed to have nicks or scratches on them. And, well, can't be too bad because I can't actually see any. I might later, or you might be able to see them. I don't know. But if he's been that diligent in describing them and I can't find them and I'm pretty uh, pedantic about this sort of thing then it can't be too bad can it so they were priced accordingly I was going to say but arguably now if I can't see them they must be very cheap indeed anyway here's the foot soldier tall as it's called uh, which is just a double height one which I'm not sure if I want but then they are robots as I said last time so why couldn't one have four arms and it'd be good at reaching the cookie jar from the top shelf of course so there we go and then there's one more which is this lady here, which I had never come across before. Her name is Karai, uh, which is, sounds a bit like uh, somebody ordering an Indian meal in Birmingham, really, doesn't it? Karai? Do you want a Karai Marai? Anyway, that's what I think of it. Uh, but I've never heard of her. You'll have to tell me if you've heard of her. She's got this very interesting, I think this is hair, <laughs> not a helmet, sort of blonde, uh, sort of dipped bit at the back and with these massive sort of I don't know, I'd call them sideburns, but they're not really, are they? Coming out the front, uh, it looks like a helmet to me, kind of like a cycling helmet, uh, but an interesting torso as well. 
but very interesting character. Now, I should have spot, spotted this before because uh, she has actually got her title in the uh, set name, <laughs> 79118 Karai Bike Escape from 2014. Can't stop saying it in a Birmingham accent now. <laughs> but yeah, that's really nice. And I quite like the touch where she's got the markings kind of on her belt, like Shredder does. I've got a Shredder actually over here. Let me just grab Shredder. So Shredder, who I already had, has this sort of uh, marking here. We've got the horizontal and three vertical cross. I think it's sort of a rank badge or maybe how good you are at uh, shredding people. Uh, and this one's got horizontal and just two down. So she's sort of a leader in the uh, foot clan, uh, but not obviously above Shredder. So that's really nice. And this is supposed to have nicks on the torso as well. But it was only three pounds. Oh, there's one. Now I can see that one just there on the back at the right there. I think Nick, by the way, is a code word for bite mark. But um, and is there an equivalent on the front? Oh, it is. Yeah, right there. So maybe there are. But I mean, that is quite hard to notice. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. And I can always put the torso alone back on my wanted list. So I'll be yellowing her up because although her head and makeup is absolutely great, double sided, uh, I don't have pink skin in my city. So I'll be making her yellow. I just picked this head out because she had angry eyebrows, but maybe you can suggest a better one <laughs> for somebody who is a direct equivalent. We need sort of heavy eye makeup and lipstick, really. So yeah, that would be good to get your suggestions for a better replacement. It's not too bad. It really just needs the eye makeup, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, actually, it looks a bit more funny now with yellow skin, I must say, that hairdo. But yeah, so that's her. More Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So that is going to make for a really good uh, contribution to that army build, given that uh, I didn't even know she existed. Right, then we've got two more bags, which I'm going to tip out. They're all just loose in here. And I'm probably going to knock over all the minifigures I've just nicely arranged. Ah, good. There are the rest of the base plates that I was looking for. So one, two, three more of those. One, two, three more of those. What do we get up to? Oh, look, I've got some free parts there. One of those is an old dark grey, I think, rather than new, but it doesn't really matter because they're going to be covered up with tiles and stuff. Oh, one more there. Do I have 15 now? Hopefully I do. Oh, another free brick on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hurrah! Right, so that has worked. Uh, then we've got loads of dark tan plates for all my undersea cabinet. So I've got 16 by 16 there and a great big stack of 8 by 16s. Again, not the reason for this store. More free bricks. Um, but, you know, I've got to get an absolute low to do the next two levels uh, and some 6 by 16 there as well. So I'll get them wherever I can. Talking of under the sea, there are some vine pieces from loads of friend sets and stuff like that, that I can use. I want to do a massive kelp forest bit. It'll probably be on the next level down. Uh, just have loads of these together, maybe with something sort of swimming through them or something like that. Loads of little fish clipped on, or maybe a great big, big fish, or maybe both, who knows? Ah, now there's the other half good of my Venus flytrap. So this was in three jungle sets, including 60160, Jungle Mobile Lab from 2017. And I kind of wanted these because they're getting incredibly rare now because I think that people have decided that they want them after all. Because uh, I don't, oh, I perceive that those jungle sets weren't that popular just because I didn't like them at the time. Uh, but I do like this piece and I never got one. Uh, and I figure that if I'm ever going to do uh, that um, Friends Botanical Garden set, uh, 41757 in my city, probably doubled up and uh, you know, all the rest of it, I'd want some more interesting plants to put inside it. And I thought this would be the best of all, wouldn't it? Great big plant that can bite your head off. <laughs> so that would be really good to put in there. Or maybe just use somewhere else. I don't think it's quite under the sea. Uh, but yeah, the botanical garden would be the best place for it, wouldn't it? Yes. Cool. So very happy to have that. And they're getting very hard to get hold of. I tried to bid on a couple on uh, eBay and they kept getting away from me. Uh, so maybe you were the ones I was bidding against. Who knows? Then we got some horses. If we're going to do this um, scene of castle, then I'm going to need some horses. So we've got two of the very surprise looking <laughs> black horses. He said what? <laughs> 
Yeah, let's make some horse kebabs for later. What? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've got two of the black ones that look surprised and one of the white ones who doesn't look surprised. So they'll be wearing all that barding armour and so on that I've been spending my money on, or the channel's money. Lovely. So three nice horses there. Uh, some more characters for the castle scene. There's this one. Now, this one didn't actually come in a castle set, actually. Uh, this one came in the 10235 Winter Village Market from 2013, selling pastries. Uh, but the torso is in, well, it looks quite historic, doesn't it? With a sort of corseted and embroidered sort of bit with gold uh, trim on and all the rest. Uh, that was used in another minifigure, the Green Princess. Uh, and uh, basically I've bought it for that. So all I'll need to do is replace these very bitten legs. Oh! which they did tell me about. God, they're going in a bin. I'll throw them in a the bin now. Uh, and with that dress piece, and it will be just as good as all the others. So that is really nice to have as well. Yeah, somebody's been chewing quite a lot. Ah, and then we have this character. Very nice. Now, I don't usually buy from Harry Potter, and this is uh, Stan Shunpike from 75957, The Night Bus which is a set from 2019. Uh, well, the reason I got this one is because I think I need a lot more uniforms for public transport. Uh, I've just used the same uniform for my trams as i am using on my underground, uh, and I still need some drivers for my uh, yellow buses in the bus station. And if they're going to be a slightly different transport company, then, well, I'm going to need a slightly different uniform. And this one with its purple peaked cap, and it's sort of conductors, uh, whatever you'd call that, finger me <laughs> around the neck. I thought it'd be perfect. Uh, so yeah, the night bus. Uh, now that would be so cool because in the films, it's the bus for the Jedi Knights, isn't it? That's right. Who can forget they use it to get to and from the Senate, Naboo, all over Coruscant with all the younglings fighting over the back seat, presumably. And... He is the conductor, Stan, and Mace Windu is the driver, isn't it? Hence the bus being purple, of course. Uh, not to be confused with the Knights of Ren bus, uh, which is crimson, of course, and driven by Darth Maul. So, you know, that's how you remember it, uh, really. Anyway, there he is in the Mace Windu coloured uh, uniform there. So there he is. Got one buffer for a train, because I'll be doing lots of carriage builds. Uh, here is... A character from uh, the Lego Ninjago movie, uh, Masako, who I do have, but I figured I'd part out just because she's got this lovely hair with the chopsticks in and nice torso uh, trouser combo, which I have to stay together because they sort of overflow from one into the other. Very cheap as well. I think that was about a pound. Uh, then we've got our first super secret police. Yes. Uh, they had quite a few, but I've just gone for the ones with the uh, helmet with the uh, emblem on and, of course, the body armour. Well, that's been a bit scraped at the front, but it still says, yep. <laughs> Should we do it again? <laughs> Super secret police <coughs> on the back. So that's very good as well. Uh, so these came in uh, 70819, bad cop car chase, and 70808, super cycle chase uh, from 2014 and 15. And I think there'll be some more in the last of these bags which I'm going to tip out carefully as well, just so I don't knock over all the minifigures. Oh, I missed something from earlier. One train wheel. Weirdly, I've either lost one, or it's the ones with the rubber band around. Uh, I've either lost one. I've got three, basically, so I needed a fourth. It's a short story of that. We've got another Stan, and another Stan. So that's my uh, no new uniforms sorted. Oh, he's going to fall over, isn't he? There we go. Settle him. Uh, he's not happy. There we go. There is a second SSP, -er, and he's got the cap and the body armour. Very nice. Third one. That's another one of the cap ones. Obviously, I'll put yellow faces on them with very mean, angry-looking faces on. <laughs> and there's the fourth one. Yeah. I mean, you really need the emblem kit to make the best of these, and then they really look like they're going into a riot. And... 
I made this order before I got that uh, subscriber contribution the other week uh, where I got sent about five of these because I needed some. So now I've got about sort of 10 knocking around. Uh, but I don't think we can have too many in the city because the amount of suggestions I get for SSP is absolutely huge. So it will just encourage me to do even more of their builds. So I think that will be uh, <laughs> quite popular a move. Uh, then we've got more of these buffers. Got a great big knot of them all sort of stuck to one another. So they are... Ooh, Good and strong. Yeah, nice. Four more of those. He had five, not six, weirdly. Uh, another horse. This one is a bit less common, actually, with the sort of black markings down the mane and this red uh, bridle. So he's very nice indeed. Uh, I can't remember if he is the one uh, that was in the set 1584, Knight's Challenge from 1988, or if that's the one that didn't have the black down the back there, but they're all quite similar. And that's another set that's exactly what I'm going for, uh, but just a bit older, uh, with plenty of ale to go around in that set. Lovely. Yeah, love me a bit of ale. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to replicate that in my scene as well. Another white horse. Is he surprised? No, he's not. He's pretty calm. So that one can go next to that one. Uh, then we've got two of these. Now, I mentioned these earlier uh, in another haul because uh, I just spotted them whilst looking at another piece, and I just thought, I have to get some of those. So I put them on uh, my BrickLink Wanted list, and I've now managed to get two. Uh, basically, they're usually wheels like this made out of stone, kind of like Rock Raider wheels, but in grey, obviously, and slightly more uh, angled. Uh, but they came in Nexo Knight sets, three sets, including 70352, Jestro's Headquarters from 2017. And wow, look at that. It's kind of a demented stone steamroller thingy <laughs> complete with prison gauge and uh what is that black cloud thing over the top somebody will have to explain that to me it's kind of like a it looks like something out of the lego movie too in a way doesn't it but yeah with kind of a face on it and things very weird uh, and the disappointment in that set is the goody drill vehicle i mean that looks very puny by comparison with that great big steamroller anyway um yeah i'm not going to use these as wheels I thought it almost looked a like the turret of a castle. You could almost either have it that way up and have the castle sort of going up with some cylinder pieces into this, and that's kind of um, you know detailing, uh, or that way up where you could have the sort of guard standing in that bit. Let's just put her in because she's got half a body, sort of over there with his bow and arrow. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Or both. Uh, so that was one idea. Another idea was to use it under the sea as kind of like a. I don't know if you call it a shrine or what, but something that had something precious in the middle that maybe the um, mer people sort of milled around or something like that. Anyway, lots of ideas for that, but I think it's a very interesting piece. Holding them now, I think that using them as some sort of really ornate or, well, not ornate, actually rugged uh, stone tower might be even better. You imagine the tall bit coming out of there and people or just torso sticking in the top. Yeah, because it's not deep enough on the inside. Lots of interesting potential. I thought that would be good. Uh, one more old grey piece that I'm not going to tell you about for the same reason as the other one. More of these and one more of those, which is going to make my job a lot easier when we get to the deep sea cabinet. And then three more interesting pieces. We've got a barnacle sort of tentacle, but in yellow. That was only in one set, 6283 Voltix from 2012. Oh, I've got those electric bits coming out of his shoulders. Um, yeah, anyway, that'll be good for Under the Sea. Nice, bright, colourful one. I think I've got black, orange and lime, I want to say, or maybe green or both. So, yeah, another addition there. Good fun. Can attach something bar related in these uh, and Technic pin related in those. So that's nice. And then two more bits. Which shall I do first? I'll do this one. Check out the stickers if they're all right. They look pretty good on there because these are going to be quite hard to move. Yeah, they look all right. Yeah, it's basically a see-through motorbike uh, from Wonder Woman, of course, who has all the uh, see-through uh, invisible sort of uh, vehicles, which must make them hard to find in the car park uh, when you can't remember exactly where you put it. And I kind of wondered how I'd missed this in set 41235, Wonder Woman Dorm from 2017. Uh, and then I realised, oh, it's a mini doll set. That's how. <laughs> but I do need uh, desperately now the gold handlebars that went with that. Uh, I've got some gold wheels from another bike, which is less exciting. 
So I think I can ugh, wrench that out of there, put it in there, and then we've got that sort of set up. So it's looking cool already. And I just have to decide whether I'm going to take the Wonder Woman kind of stickers off it uh, and, you know, use it as just a bike that's uh, clear, which would be very interesting. Or maybe I want to uh, leave them on and give it to Wonder Woman, which I'll have to get a yellowed up version and have her in my city. I have got a Wonder Woman, but it's on Mrs. Hood's desk because Mrs. Hood loves Wonder Woman as well as Firestar. She has them both. Uh, so that's good. And then the final, final piece is this. It's one of those planets, just a half of it. That's all they had. I didn't just buy one half. That would have been a bit uh, <laughs> annoying for them. This is the planet Camino, apparently. Uh, 75006, Jedi Starfighter and planet Camino from 2013. Uh, Camino, that must be where they have a Chevrolet factory. No? Oh, no, it's the cloning place where they made... Um, uh, the bounty hunter George Weasley out of Fred Weasley, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had the jetpacks, didn't they? Yeah, that's right. So, uh, yeah, who can forget that from the movies? But that's really interesting. Uh, and I thought, should I tell you about that? Yeah, I may as well. I thought I'd stick that on the ceiling of the Lego room and pretend it was Venus, <laughs> a planet off in the distance. So I thought that might be quite good. I'm not sure if it's the right colour for Venus, but who cares? Cool haul. <laughs> Well, I was very excited about getting this haul uh, and opening it because of the very boring 8x16 base plates that enable me to do my cunning little scheme that I've got planned <laughs> for fixing a whole area, a whole district of my city. Uh, my plans are quite interesting, uh, so I think that could be a good video, or at least it will be uh, pivotal for the future of that corner. Uh, but we've got loads of interesting minifigures for different scenes. Finish off the bus station, uh, the castle scene and so on. SSP builds, uh, maybe the botanical garden in the future if I decide to buy those sets. I'm kind of waiting for it to be on discount. Uh, lots of other stuff. Stuff for the ceiling, the cabinet, horses, Arctic. It's all of my projects covered really, isn't it? Uh, but the best part of all wasn't bought by me. It was sent in by Tammy from uh, Pittsburgh, Kentucky. And uh, wow, yeah, very, very happy with that. Took somebody from America to send something in that I just couldn't find uh, for a reasonable price anywhere local to me. So thanks so much again for that, Tammy. So as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. Uh, and if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. Uh, and if you want to send something to a future brick call like Tammy did, then you can by sending it to the usual PO box address. Uh, if you're doing it from abroad, do market at $30 euros or whatever your currency is or under, and it'll get through to me without a hitch. Uh, and next time on Robin Hood Bricks, well, I'm going to have to see how much time I've got, whether I can get on with my cunning little scheme or if I do another project. Uh, there are so many in the offing. I have to see what I've got bricks to finish. <laughs> but until whatever we get up to, see you. The Book of Fear, you will be terrified by the contents of its pages.